Hello and welcome to this latest video in the Tableau for Sports series. Uh, this time we're going to look at a trick using the index function. And this is where you want to line up or compare two teams, but they may have played game number one or game number two on different dates. And, and how do you line that up where we can't you really use the date field? Okay, so this will make a little bit more sense if we go through an example. So let me show you here. So this is the final product that I want to end up with. And you can see here along the bottom axis, I am just looking at the first game played, the second game played, and so on. I'm not really interested in what date they've played on, okay? And this games played, you know, the count one, two, three, isn't in anywhere in the data set. And if we take a look at, if I try to build this from scratch, let me go into a, a blank one here and show you. So I'm gonna take date and we'll choose the continuous. Let's take expected goals. I just want to narrow this down to Premier League. And let's even put the team name on the color here for a second. Okay, now it looked like a bit of a, a scramble. So let me just pick, you know, two or three teams just to, to narrow this down. So let's say Liverpool, Spurs and Man City. Okay, so we'll fix the colors in a minute, but you can see here, um, you know, Liverpool have played their first game on the 12th, so Southampton, but Man City play a few days later. So their game number one doesn't line up and therefore each game subsequently is, is a little bit off. So using just the date field here doesn't, doesn't help me line up. I just want all game ones in the first column, all game twos in the second and so on. Okay, so I'm going to build a table just to show you how we how we can do this first of all. So let me duplicate this sheet for a second. And let me just turn this into a table. So I am going to put a team up here. Let's put date here and I'm going to make it a discrete, which will give me a list of dates. And I don't really need that for now. Okay, so we can see here we've got the, the teams. That have played and we can see the dates that they played on and you know certainly at the moment these aren't going to overlap so game one is ne never going to be really on the same date for the majority of teams so what i can do is i can use what's known as an index function so i'm just going to double click in here and type the word index and hit enter and let me just put that onto the label so we can see what's happening so the index function is known as a table calculation and it simply just kind of counts the rows down or the columns across okay at the moment it counts the whole table and what i want to do is set this so it restarts at each team so the first time it sees a date doesn't care what it is the first time it sees a date for a team it marks as number one number two number three and so on so let me go in right click edit table calculation and i want to choose this uh, specific dimensions you can leave both team and date ticked and just say restarting for each team and now you can see the index has gone 1 to 10 for Liverpool 1 to 9 for Man City and then again 1 to 9 for Southampton okay and as more games come in that will that will fill that out okay so specific dimensions so that gives me my my index tag which is what I want so now we're going to close that I'm going to move that to my columns which is going to give me my x-axis now Although I don't need the actual date in the field, I do need it. I do need Tableau to be able to compute by date. So it needs to be able to count the dates. So if I was to completely remove this, the calculation breaks. So a really nice way to keep it in the view here, but without without changing anything in, in the actual visual part is pop it onto detail. Okay. I'm gonna put the team back on color. And what I want to visualize is expected goals. Okay, so it's not immediately obvious here, but if you take a look at this first row, you can see Southampton index one, which is their first game on the 12th, Man City index one, which is their first game on the 21st. And then we've got Liverpool up here. Okay, so it's it's beginning to work. So what do I want to do from here? So let's tidy this up a little bit. So I want to next get a running total. So we can see Man City are dropping along here. We can turn this into a line and I want to turn this into a running total. So again, I'm going to add a table calculation. I'm going to 
go specific dimensions and I just want to tick the date here and put the team on top uh, for each team compute the running total okay so for each team running total and that looks pretty good to me okay so let's pretty much there let's go entire view if you want and um, and then we can tidy up so the few things i did to get it to look like this one are uh, let's put team on the label and i'm going to go in here i'm going to say match mark colors make it bold maybe put it up to 10. we can show the filter then obviously and we can turn on all teams and then i just formatted a couple of these things so right click and format i'm going to fill the sheet as dark I'm going to get rid of the grid lines and change a bit of the font here. So I'll make that a little bit wider. And the same with that one. Double click on the title and say expected goals running total. And again, change that to white. And let's make that nice and bold. And the last thing I might want to do is instead of this saying index, which doesn't make a lot of sense, just double click and I can say games played. So now you can see regardless of when the actual date of the game was played, everybody starts at number one and continues on as the game goes. So we can track this regardless of updates. Uh, and you can go a step further. So you know, when I hover over this, I can see the date, but you can add all sorts of other things. So let's put opponent on tooltip. Let's put the expected goals in that game. Um, and you can see then when you hover over, you get the detail. And one last thing you might not be aware of is you can change the line type here. So I can do a kind of stepped. I don't think it looks great in this case, but you can play around and see with the different varieties there. But we've got a running total regardless of game date. So that's the index trick. Hope that was useful.